There's another tiny little appellation within the Sautern area called Barsac, producing some of the most elegant, refined and delicate wines of the region, notably Chateau Couté. The difference between the wines of Sautern and Barsac mainly comes from the soils. In Sautern, the soils are more gravelly, which reflects both heat and light onto the vine, making for a much richer, fuller bodied and often sweeter style of wine. Whereas in Barsac, the soils are a more reddish clay and produce a more delicate, lighter bodied style of wine. If I had to pick a personal favorite, it would definitely be the wines of Barsac. This tiny appellation is off the beaten track from the well-traveled wine routes of the Medoc and Saint-Emilion. The countryside is stunning, and the roads are barely wide enough to allow two cars to pass, and around every corner is a stunningly beautiful chateau. Chateau Coutet is one of the leading estates in Barsac, and about once a decade they release just a couple of barrels of a super, super fine wine called Madame Cuvée. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's obviously very sweet, but it's got some exotic fruits of pineapple and honey and mango. And what I really love about it is that it just has enough acidity to keep it tingling and dancing across your palate. If you ever find any, which would probably be pretty difficult, make sure you try and get a bottle. It's a lifetime experience. Kute was built in the 13th century by the British who designed it as a fortress. In 1855, it was classified as a first growth and the wines were hailed by Thomas Jefferson as some of the best sweet wines in the world. Now there's 95 acres of vineyards at Kute, but the chateau only produces 3,500 cases of wine. To put it in perspective, a winery would normally make about 10 times that amount if it was producing red wine. 